Joined now from the United States by Dr. Mark Siegel. He's the Fox News contributor. Uh, Dr. Mark, great to see you. Um, big bombshell news tonight. I know it's making big news across the pond in America. Um, when you read the statement from the palace, and it says it, it, when he had the procedure for the benign prostate enlargement, a separate issue of concern was noted, which is another form of cancer has been identified. Um, just talk me through the process that could have led to that discovery. Well, Piers, uh, good, uh, good to see you. And uh, we actually talked together about this at the very beginning when he went in for the procedure. Now, I talked to our top urologist at NYU, New York University today about this issue with the prostate. And he said about one out of 100 times, when you're there, when you're going in, you could see a bladder cancer, that it could look like enlarged prostate or it could be there at the same time as enlarged prostate or it could come out on pathology. One out of 100 times or more that happens. I'll tell you, Piers, I'm suspicious that this is bladder cancer because he went home, because they're treating him as an outpatient, because what you do with bladder cancer after you resect it, if you can resect it, you give BCG, which is a form of inactivated bacteria like tuberculosis, you infuse that into the bladder, and it cures it over 90% of the time. It's the fourth most common cancer in men. Number two, uh, number one is prostate cancer, which they say this is not. Lung cancer, colon cancer, they, those could have spread. But the king of England, I think, would be getting inpatient treatment for those. So I'm suspicious that this is bladder cancer, and that would be good news. Well, that's encouraging if that's what it is. We've been asked not to speculate about what it is, but it's impossible, really, given that we know the king has cancer, not to at least theorise what the range of cancers it could be, given that it was discovered from this uh, procedure for the benign prostate enlargement. I mean, so I heard a doctor this morning, uh, this, this evening, on the radio, talking about how when you have that benign prostate enlargement, if you are the king, they probably took some tissue from the prostate area as well, and that it may have taken some time for that to be properly tested and come back. Would that be consistent with a bladder cancer discovery? And could it also have unearthed something else completely different? In other words, like you say, could it have been a secondary site uh, for a lung cancer or colon cancer or something of that nature? Absolutely. All of those things are possible. I'm just cons considering the idea that he went home. And, and as you say... They ask us not to speculate, but if I'm right, this is very, very, very good news. This also happens pretty commonly. And also, they didn't talk about a CAT scan or other tests. You know, this is, this is most likely something you would find while you're doing the other procedure. So you would be quietly encouraged by the sequence of events? Because he went home. Because the King of England went home. And because if they found this... Now, another possibility might be lymphoma. L lymphoma is eminently treatable as well. But again, I would have expected the king to be treated in the hospital for that, at least initially. So the fact that I'm he... I'm encouraged by the fact that he went home yeah. and that he's getting the treatment as an outpatient. Right. I find I that very encouraging. That seems to me to be a significant part of this. I mean, we, we know that was the case on Monday. What we don't know from that statement is whether he will remain an outpatient or whether he will actually have to go in as well. All we do know is that all public engagements involving FaceTime with the public have all been cancelled or postponed. Uh, that is very, very unusual, Dr. Mark, which suggests to me that whatever it is, they're very worried about it. Well, or that he has a recovery time here or that he had surgery done. You know, if it was, if it was bladder cancer, they would have tried to remove it at the time that they were doing the prostate. If it's metastatic cancer of another sort, it still can respond to chemotherapy or immunotherapy or radiation, but it would be more dire in that, than if it were the bladder. What do you, I mean, if it is the bladder cancer, and as you say, if he's had the procedure that you said he may have had for that, what's the recovery time period like? Well, that would be a, a matter of weeks. Of course, he's 75 years old, 
that factors into it. He's in pretty, pretty fit. And as yeah. you know, Pierce, he's the anti-smoking king. He's been, mm. he's been asking for no smoking in all of the UK. So that's good because, because more likely these cancers are related to smoking. So, so he's a healthy king. And, and I, I think that that bodes well for a faster recovery unless he has a more severe cancer. Right. Uh, Dr. Mark, as always, great to talk to you. Thank you so much for sparing the time. I know you're very, very busy over there with all the stuff going on at Fox, so I appreciate it. Thank you very much.